always liked knives, always had knives, but they weren't uh, expensive knives and they, they, they weren't quality knives. Of course, there were some growing pains and I, I embarrassed myself several times, but uh, <laughs> I do have kind of a natural knack for it. So I wanted to learn to make knives, and so my wife suggested I go to school. And so I had never thought about going to school for, for making knives, but we got to looking into it, and there was a school here in Arkansas, the Bill Moran School of uh, Bladesmithing. It was great. It was absolutely great. It, it kind of lit a fire under me, and I, I wanted to learn more. Well, one thing led to another. That was, that was 20, close to 21 years ago. So he makes knives, uh, and, and he uses a lot of the old world techniques that he's learned here in this blacksmith shop uh, to uh, make those knives with, which is unique. Not, the, I don't know very many people in, in the country that do that. We're sitting around here thinking that the, the, we're, we're all apprentices and we are, are, uh, we are learning, you know. And we says to ourselves, well, you know, this is Arkansas treasure thing they were talking about. It, it seems like, I've, and if you look at what is required for the Arkansas uh, uh, treasure, he's done all that. He really does deserve it. He really does. So that's why we did it. <laughs> I thought Lynn deserved the nomination because he really is a treasure. He's a wonderful teacher. He's a wonderful craftsman and he shares his knowledge. So he's real adept at getting young people, young learners involved in blacksmithing. But he does the same thing with real experts too. He brings folks along at all levels. What is this? What is this? I really want to help support the cause uh, of education. To watch their face when you they see and, and, and all of a sudden you realize from their expression that they understand now. They see that there's a there was a different world back in the 1800s. There's a there's a whole different way of looking at things now that they've seen this. And of course that that realization came to me somewhere along the line too. And so that feeling that I get when I see them reach that conclusion, that, that, that realization is very satisfying to me. And I I want to do it over and over again. And this Living Treasure Award, it, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. You know, it hasn't uh, really sunk in just yet, but it made me realize just how important these crafts are. If other people appreciate it that much, then I need to give it the dignity and the effort and be, be all the more willing to share it. I've gone back and looked at other videos that the museum has produced of the other living treasures. And I know one or two of them personally. And I've known them for quite some time. To be associated with that group is quite an honor. It's quite an honor, it really is. I just really can't hardly put it into words. So I appreciate it.